This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at open pre-trained transformer language models from Meta AI. Okay. We'll look at a demo of the OPT 175 billion parameters model. We'll also look at a demo of the OPT 1.3 billion parameters, right? Now, uh, what is OPT, right? So what uh, Meta AI has done is that um, they have developed decoder only pre-trained transformers ranging from 125 million to 175 billion parameters, right? And what they are saying is that uh, this is this OPT 175 billion uh, parameters model is comparable to GPT-3, but it requires only one by seventh of the carbon footprint to develop. They have also released the source code of OPT pre-trained transformers. What they say is that uh, GPT and all uh, uh, GPT-3 transformer, basically it is available only through API right no access is granted to the full model weights making them difficult to study so what they are saying is that uh, with opt uh, models right or with this opt transformers they have actually uh, you know they are releasing this uh, to uh, interested researchers they want to fully and responsibly share with interested researchers and they also want to share the entire uh, source code and how the how the training process of this particular models okay so what they are saying over here is that even for training this uh, you know uh, model they actually required for the opt 175 billion uh, parameters uh, model transform model they required 992 80 gp a 100 gpus okay reaching 147 teraflops utilization per gpu this is really huge infrastructure, right? Uh, even with their latest, this thing, what they're saying is that they are able to develop OPT-175 using only one by seven, the carbon footprint of GPT-3. Okay. While this is a significant achievement, the energy cost of creating such a model is still non-trivial and repeated efforts to replicate a model of this size will only amplify the growing compute footprint of these large language models. That is why they wanted to release this so that uh, you know, it can help in reproducible AI, right? So that is what they are claiming over here. So with the release of OPT 175B and smaller scale baselines, we hope to uh, increase the diversity of voices defining the ethical consideration of such technologies as well as for reproducible AI. Okay, that is the idea over here. More details of training is given over here. Okay, so let's directly jump into this uh, demo. Okay, so Alpha AI is, uh, they have actually hosted the 175 billion parameter OPT for text generation. Okay, so we can actually, uh, you know, try this out over here. What they are saying is that this model might generate something offensive. No safety measures are in place as a free, as it is a free service. Okay, so here you have this fact, uh, the key facts, okay, where there is this question and these kind of answers which are present. So given this text as input for text generation. Let's see what it generates. Okay. So this generation takes some amount of time. That is what they have written over here. So let's uh, wait for the results. Okay. So over here now it says that uh, our prompt was a uh, question, uh, this particular question, where were the 2004 Olympics held? Answer question what is the longest river on earth and let's see what it generates an answer it generates as the nile and then it generates some other question answer pairs from the wiki facts database okay or the data over here okay we can also try some math over here uh, now uh, this is a math uh, question over here so these this is the pattern over here right so it is actually doing this computation and some kind of answer it is giving over here right in the model. Let's see what kind of response comes for this particular query. What kind of text gets generated? Again, we need to wait for the answers. Okay. So the last question is if X is seven and Y is six, what is X plus four Y? Okay. So basically seven plus four into six, 24. So 31 should be the answer. So that is what is generated over here. But another thing I observed over here is that if you go over here, this is the answer which has been generated. Another thing I observed over here is what if I make some slight changes to the pattern, right? And let me see what happens. For example, this one, right? So what I'm expecting is some kind of multiplication over here. And let's see what happens uh, for this kind of text generation. Okay. 
so it's again doing the computation uh, we have to wait for the, this thing and if you look at the this thing if you see over here it just says 7 star 6 what I was expecting was uh, x is 7 y is 6 so 4 into 6 24 24 star 7 that is what was expected over here but then it kind of goes into some other kind of text generation over here okay so this is the 175 billion parameter uh, model which is hosted over here this is a free demo you can also try out i'll put the link to this demo in the description of the video now what if we want to try some smaller models okay smaller parameters because they said they have from 125 million to 175 billion right so let's go to hugging faces now hugging faces has a 1.3 billion parameter model right and here uh, they've again taken from the paper and they've explained about the model and uh, what are the intended uses and they also say how we can use this with the pipeline for text generation let's go to that pipeline i have uh, created a collab demo so uh, what i have to do is that i have to install transformers that is the first step then i have to import a pipeline right from transformers and i create a generator uh, it is actually text generation and the model is the facebook opt 1.3 billion parameters model okay so it kind of downloads that particular model and it's close to 2.4 g another important thing is that you need to select the runtime as uh, gpu runtime over here okay so you need to uh, change the runtime as gpu over here the hardware accelerator and this is how i'm creating a text generation pipeline over here and i'm creating a generator object right so then i can actually uh, generate text using this particular model so for example if i give hugging face transformers is a great nlp library you see this is the generated text i have been using it for right it kind of generates the continuation text this is a text generation now what if i give the same kind of the query over here uh, just like that math query over here i give this particular question right uh, there is an answer for this question right and then i also give another question if x is 8 and y is 9 what is 3x plus y so basically let's see what kind of this thing so here when i actually ran the generator uh, once with just this query text uh, it ran into an error with respect to length over here of the input so then i had to change this parameter max length and i have to give some values over here so i gave it 100 over here so over here if you see uh, what kind of uh, this thing is generated for that uh, second question of mine over here right for the first one you have the question answer pair for the second one i'm just given what is 3x plus y so it kind of generates uh, the second this thing over here text as uh, what is 3x plus y answer it says 3x plus y is equal to 3x plus 9 is equal to 9 so it is giving out some um, improper answer over here uh, so if x is 8 and y is 9 so it needs to replace that over here and generate the text but it is doing some text generation over here okay now let's go to the wiki facts query the same thing right uh, the query uh, the question is where were the 2004 olympics held the answer is athens i am giving another question what is the longest river on earth okay and i'm saying what is the answer so it kind of generates the answer as the nile and question it then kind of generates some kind of question answer pairs over here okay so this is opt 1.3 billion parameters whereas this was opt 1.75 billion parameters so the accuracy and other things will go for a toss with the smaller models over here but i just wanted to see what kind of things come out over here right so then i gave another query like this uh, tesla makes great cars if only they would release cars in india i wanted to see what kind of text is generated given this kind of a text as input whereas here if you see this is kind of prompted input right you have a question and then an answer so it is kind of prompts over here saying that okay if the question is of this kind of a uh, pattern and answer you give something if this kind of text is uh, given what kind of text will get generated again if you see everything will be getting generated in the question answer question answer kind of things right so here when i gave tesla makes great cars if only they would release cars in india to this generator it kind of generates if only they would release cars in india that is the input text then it says edit i am not saying they don't make great cars i am saying they should release cars in india this is quite valid up to here i like the text generation which has been done they just don't sell them they then it kind of goes they don't sell them they just don't sell them in india they do sell them in india some kind of this thing so it out of the text generation also you need to properly sample how much uh, output you want right based on that you might get good quality output so this is a short video on the opt models okay the open pre-trained uh, transformer language models so what meta ai says over here is that they'll give access to you know researchers and uh, 
who would want to get access to this particular model that's what um, they are saying over here um, fully and responsibly share this is a welcome development uh, in the large language models because otherwise the large language models are not really transparent right they are behind a paywall they are behind an api um, so you don't know what exactly comes out of it but in this case other researchers can get access to this model and um, the source code and other things and they can see if they can reproduce the results they can see what kind of issues are there with these models and this will generally improve the large language models. I hope this video is useful for you. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. See you in another video. Happy learning.